morning guys welcome to the first morning of our holiday in Haven so I've done a separate video of like the journey up here and I've done a caravan tour and then this is just gonna be like a vlog of the week I don't know whether it's gonna be one or two videos I've got no idea how much we're gonna do and how much I'm gonna film but it's our first morning we are all absolutely knackered because baby girl decided that she was gonna start her day at like 3 o'clock so it's it's 8 a.m. We're all up dressed, we've all had a shower, the dog's been out for a walk, we're all ready to go. So I think nap there's gonna be a nap today and I think it's gonna be very, very early, but we're just about to go and look round the park and see what's here and pick up a couple of essentials from the shop that I forgot or didn't realise that we needed. yesterday ended up being just a bit of a chill day really so we spent like the morning having a look around the park but it was pouring with rain so there wasn't much that we could do and then we had we all had a little nap I ended up having to wake baby bell up after two and a half hours I thought because she'd had this nap that we could then go off and do like there's an activity trail thing and then go to the evening's entertainment but she was absolutely knackered. We went to the park in the afternoon and that was it. She was done. I think she was asleep by about quarter past seven. So it was just a chilled day really. But we did manage to find the Wi-Fi yesterday. There's no Wi-Fi in the caravans and there's no phone signal either. So it's like, I feel like completely in the wilderness. But we found the Wi-Fi yesterday and it actually works. So that's good. But today we are off to going on a steamboat or a steamer i don't think they're actually steamboats anymore they call them that but i don't think that's what they are now on old water to a big waterfall and then hopefully we're going to stop off at beatrix potter world oh, i am so tired like the last few nights i haven't really slept very well I didn't sleep brilliantly last night which was really annoying because i was absolutely shattered but it is it's half past seven so we're all like up and dressed now john's just in the shower at the moment and john's mum's joined us so she's come down for a couple of days to stay in the caravan with us so we're just off to do that in a minute hopefully we'll see a bit more today than we did yesterday but baby bell's still really tired so i don't know if i don't think we're going to make the evening entertainment today but we'll see <laughs> That's it, can you manage it? In the evening we headed to the on-site fish and chip shop to try out their chips and they are definitely worth it. And then because Baby Bell had had a nap on the way home from the waterfall, we needed to let her run off some energy so we played football on the field. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> swimming this morning hence the absolutely no makeup at all and the strange pair but well, first of all we're gonna give the laundry a go see how that goes it's pretty expensive like three pound fifty just for a single wash and then two pounds for the tumble dryer but the weather is absolutely gorgeous today it's like nine o'clock and it is warm 
don't know what the temperature is. We didn't make it to Beatrix Potter World yesterday because we were all knackered after walking halfway up the mountain. I've put a few clips of that in, but I'm gonna do it as a separate video because it was like a six hour day. We saw a lot of stuff yesterday. Oh God, it's hot, I can't even breathe. I'm pretty much a laundrette newbie. I think I've only ever used one once before. This one was really easy to use, pretty self-explanatory. After swimming and lunch, we decided to check out Haven's Adventure Trail, which in hindsight is probably not the best idea after we did a long walk the day before and it being really, really hot. I think this is about two kilometers, but there was all these like things that the, that the kids and the adults could do as you walk around and then obviously you got to see you like round the outskirts of the park and everything. There was some sort of abandoned military base there and some random sheep. How you doing, baby? And then we stopped off for ice cream by the lake, which was lovely. So we are off to check out the evening entertainment. We haven't been there yet. Going to the party. It starts, the kids stuff starts at six o'clock, which feels like really, really early. And then goes on to about quarter to eight. So six o'clock now, we're just gonna walk over there, see what that's like. Side squad, mission, let's go. Our first move is gonna be star jumps. We go out, we go, I'm gonna turn to the back. And to the side. And back to the front. You're doing so George. Oh, thanks, George. I'm so excited to go to the seaside squad. Uncle Brad is always on. Do you want to do some, baby? <laughs> You're a noisy one. No, I'm okay. Oh. <laughs> tiny, tiny one. Hang on. Today we went to Lakeland Farm Park, which I've put a couple of clips in again, but I'm going to do a separate video because there was loads to do there. It was really cheap to get in. I think it was like £10 per person and there was so much to do. And this is definitely one of the things to do in the Lake District with a toddler. It was such a great day. <laughs> Try harder. Pedal, 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 pedal. to the aerial adventure, the Tots aerial adventure. She's been going on about this since we've got here. Like she has absolutely no idea what to expect from this. And I still think even as she went through it, she still had no idea what was really going on, but she'd been going on about it for ages. So we took her on to do this. And again, if you're at Haven and they've got one of these, take your toddler on it, it's amazing. They've got an adult one as well, which I was gonna to attempt to do to try and get over my fear of heights, but I looked at it and I was like, no, no thank you, I'm not doing that. So Baby Bell took one for the team and absolutely smashed it. That's it, hold on tight, hold on tight. You hold on tight to the rope.
to the arcade to see if we can win some more tokens. This afternoon we're taking a pedalo out onto the lake. It actually ended up being a lot warmer than I thought it was going to be. Like the, the day had started off a bit cloudy and then by the afternoon it was absolutely boiling and pedaling a pedalo is a little bit more difficult than I remember or expected, especially when you've got two year olds sat on you, but actually it was quite a nice way to spend the afternoon just sort of cycling around a lake. <laughs> You having a good time, baby? Hey, Bill. Having a good time? Oh. <laughs> Sunday morning, and we're finally making it to Beatrix Potter World. Again, this is going to be a separate video. It's another one of those places that you need to go to if you've got a toddler or you're into Beatrix Potter. This was amazing. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. We had planned to try the mini golf this afternoon, but the weather has had other ideas. So basically just got everything packed, ready for leaving tomorrow. Our last evening and we chucked our raincoats on. Our raincoats that we purchased at Asda, just up the road from the Haven site because we didn't pack any, we completely forgot. But we threw those on over our going out clothes and we went and tried to win a few more tokens in the amusement arcade. Baby Bell absolutely loved it in there. I just found, find it so overstimulating. And then we tested out the restaurant because we hadn't actually been in there. I was expecting it to be really expensive, but it wasn't really any more expensive than anywhere else. And then we took Baby Bell to the kids club again. And then we just chilled out for a bit. And that oh. was our holiday at Haven. Thank you for watching, guys.